Tony D and Little Joan in the background, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Drugstore June, starring Bill Burr, Bobby Lee, and a lot of other comedians. Uh, as a, uh, it's about a dopey influencer named June who tries to solve a drugstore robbery. <laughs> Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing check out my books links in the description comedy horror in south jersey it's the pineys books one through 13 available at amazon.com don't forget kindle unlimited is free Haley joe osmond is in it too from uh, uh what was it that bruce willis movie um beverly d'angelo remember her she was from vacation she was the mom uh, looking good, Beverly. So, uh, plays June's mom, and she's an influencer, and she's dopey, and she barely pays attention to her job. And then the pharmacy, while she's not even there, gets robbed, and she tries to solve the mystery. <laughs> but she's so dumb and caught up in her influencing, uh, there's just no way she's going to solve it. But, like, I find it hilarious because the all the detective tropes are here like she tries to question people <laughs> but she, she doesn't know what she's doing she just goes into she goes into this bar and tries to you know question like sort of sketchy guys but like she doesn't have a clue it looks very funny um i like characters like this who are they're not stupid they're just like way in over their head makes for good comedy and June's a perfect sort of character for the modern age. An influencer who was all caught up in line, uh, online. And so there's a scene where the cops ask her, what's your, what's your name? And she rattles off all her online handles. And then finally the female cop says, no, honey, what's your actual life name? And she went, oh, June. <laughs> so it looks a lot of fun. I would totally watch this. Let's see who else is in it. Haley Joel Osment. That's how you say his name. Uh, Bad Bobby. I, I, don't, I don't know who that is. I think she's an influencer. Jackie Sandler. Is he related to Adam? Danny Griffin. Beverly D'Angelo. Uh, Bobby Lee. Very funny. Who else? Who else? Bill Burr. Know him. Uh... Al Madrigal. Yeah, he was from The Daily Show. And Matt Walsh? How did he get in here? I don't remember seeing him. I have to look at this trailer again. Um, so it looks like a tons of fun. And a satire on how dopey influencers are. You know? She thinks she could do this. And she's completely in over her head. Oh, boy. Hard to read these credits. Directed by Nicholas Gazin. Written by Nicholas Gazin and Esther Povitsky, who I think is in it, too. Yeah. Oh, she's the main character? Good for you, Esther. Oh, you're, you are knocking it out of the park with this character. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Wow. Impressive. Impressive. I never would have guessed you were also the main character and the writer. Yeah. I mean... Now, it's with Bobby Lee, Beverly D'Angelo, James Ramar, and Brandon uh, Wardell, and all the others. So everybody else is essentially extended cameo. That's interesting, too. So uh, I guess it mostly centers around her, and then they got these other uh, names to just be in it. Um, Nicholas also does the editing. So... Yeah, executive producers, Bill Burr. Look at this. I don't see Bill Burr listed in the cast, but obviously he's in it. I saw him. Um, also, Al Madrigal is an executive producer. Huh. This is very interesting. Um, I think a bunch of comedians got together and uh, uh, decided to be in Esther's movie and prop her up. And I got to say, she really is funny in this trailer. She is totally in character, consistently dopey and influencery, is the way I could describe her. And everybody kind of doesn't like her. She's kind of annoying. That's the kind of main character that's great in a, in a comedy. You know, everybody's sort of against her and kind of she they kind of think she's annoying, at least in the beginning. 
maybe towards the end of it, they, she kind of grows on people, but um, Bill Burr plays her doctor, <laughs> and she tries to ask him about cosmetic surgery, and he's just like, I don't, I don't do that here. Well, but if you had to evaluate me, what would you do? And he just goes, I, I'd sew your mouth shut. <laughs> so, yeah, I could, uh, I, I would totally see this, 100%. See if there's a oh well let's go through the three act structure. Um, so the first act is about June doing her dopey influencing uh, at home with her mom, uh, all the things that go along with that, and her terrible job at the drugstore, and uh, how she just kind of annoys everybody, and doesn't have much of a life. But then she decides after the drugstore gets robbed, she's going to solve the mystery. So second act is June attempting to solve the mystery based on her incredibly limited knowledge of how policing works and, you know, for reasons that are just stupid and self-serving. So she attempts to do that. And how would it end? It would probably end with her somehow dumbly solving the mystery um, and maybe getting caught up at the end in some sort of chase where she exposes the actual criminal and then uh, who didn't think he could be exposed, but maybe the criminal thought because of her, maybe the criminal thought, and a lot of people think this, that influencers sometimes have huge networks, and some of them do, but not all of them. But they might assume someone like June has a giant network of people, and maybe after the store gets robbed, it gets, you know, she, she goes viral or something. But... Um, uh, because of that assumption, some of the people actually are afraid, a little afraid of her, <laughs> which could also be very funny. And then she ends up accidentally solving the mystery, and then there's some sort of chase at the end where the the robber tries to kill her or something. And um, but somehow she survives. And uh, because of the chase, she does finally realize her dream of being an influencer but um, she's essentially learned nothing which which feels like that's where they're going with this which would be awesome because this is a comedy and that works at the end of the movie her dopey character has learned nothing but the heightening comes from everyone around her which as long as that's being heightened <laughs> that works and um so June doesn't really learn anything, but becomes, you know, an even more annoying influencer. Uh, either way, however it rolls out, I totally want to see it. I'm going to give it an upvote. Uh, let's see if there's a write-up now. But uh, I, I'm thinking this is going to be good. So, um, no, uh, coming soon. So I, This feels like a spring movie, because this is a comedy. This feels like a March early to late March, somewhere, in, well, that's the whole month of March, isn't it? Uh, sometime in March, I think this will drop, and uh, I think it'll be fun. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. Uh, I will be at WildCon on Saturday uh, with my books and my comics and everything else because it's Wild Con, con baby. Uh, come on out to the boardwalk at the Wildwood Convention Center. Hope to see you there. We'll see you in the next one.